I'm here with Loretta and I'm just getting my nails done. I sometimes forget to put the base coat on. Is it really that important that you always put it on? Yeah, I would I would always put a base coat on because mm. it just stops the discolouring of your nails. Yeah. Just and it kind of just is like a protective layer really. Mm. I would always recommend to put um, a base coat on. I think your um, nail varnish goes on a little bit better as well. It's like a primer. Yeah, yeah. that's it. This is called Antique Purple and it's got like a shimmer to it. I love it. that, yeah, that's So gorgeous. I thought that would go really nice with your outfit today. Nice and bright and uh -huh. it's not too deep. It's still kind of pastel and pastels are really in. When it's a bit cooler and we're coming up to you know, autumn, winter, what type of colours do you think would be? Um, I always think reds and browns and blacks are, uh -huh. are really always about in the winter months. So I find yeah. a lot of my clients like going for like those darker colours. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm always doing like glitters just to make it feel a bit nicer rather than just block colours just to put a bit of sparkle in their life. Yeah, because you could be wearing something really conservative and then yeah. have like a little bit of glitter and that's it. Really makes the difference, doesn't it? Yeah, or a little bit of nail art or just yeah. something. Just something, but I do find people go for the darker colours. Mm. I think also that um, it's it's a question of the colour of your hands as well, because if you have a tan, I think that like yellows and bright colours look gorgeous, but then in the winter they can look a bit funny. Like I love bright colours on my nails, but I tend to go for like a bright dark colour, like a bright dark blue. Or... I do agree. I've got a lot of clients where they can't wear certain colours because of the tone of their skin. Yeah. Yeah, it's really got to complement you. It's really got to go with your colouring. And I do find, you know, um, going for hair colour and eye colour and really picking out those best yeah. colours, it just suits someone really well. It's really important. So, so what do you think is the best like all round colour for, like is there a one size fits all. Well, I find um, coral is a oh, really good I colour. Coral. I think it looks really gorgeous on those beautiful blonde girls yeah. and like a little bit of tan skin, but it also goes goes well with the blonde and really light skin. Yeah. And then again, with my colouring and your colouring, yeah. it just it's just one of them colours I think suits everyone. Mm. Oh, these look really exciting. What are, right, well, what are these? studs are really in at the moment. I find uh -huh. everyone is loving studs on mm. their nails. So do you mm -hmm. want some? We've got square. I Love. What kind do you wear more gold? Do so you look I like do, you wear more gold? Yeah, I do. I love gold. <laughs> so Definitely. with this, I'd just recommend like a, a brush on glue. Okay. And if you just put a little bit of glue exactly where you want it to go. I see. So it almost looks like a nail polish, doesn't it? Yeah. And there you go, and you pop that on where you want it. Oh. Simple as that. It's so easy. Yeah, yeah, that's so great. I think that's one of the biggest things, isn't it? Like it's actually as much as they look so fantastic. Anybody could do it. So when you've done your embellishment to then put another layer? I would put a clear, tip. clear layer over the top of it. I mean, if you want to go for the matte look, the glue will hold them on for a while, mm. but just to be extra secure. Sure, yeah, of course. I would put a top coat. Look how good that looks. Yeah, I love that. Thank you so much. It goes with all your jewelry. It so. does, doesn't it? And it goes with my watch. Yep. Let me spray them with some dry. Is that one of those quick dry? Yeah, I'll, I'll quick dry you. Okay, so I've just had my nails done. They look absolutely amazing. And the best thing is that if I were to get the nail polish and the little gems and stuff, it's what, under, under 20 pounds for the whole lot. And I could do it, I don't know how many times, about probably 20 times, couldn't I? So it's, it's less than a pound to have your nails done every time, which is, uh, which is fantastic. Right, so today I used antique purple on mm -hmm. your nails. So if you did two coats of that, you can even get away with one coat of that. Um, but first of all, you must always apply your base, base coat. coat. Yeah, absolutely. Then your one coat, two coats of this. And then what I did next is I applied the studs. So mm. a brush on glue, apply your studs. Again, if you have a metal tool, great. If not, just use a, a toothpick or like a wooden stick um, and place them on. Mm -hmm. And then I would suggest go over it with the clear mm -hmm. because it just keeps it on, keeps it a little bit yeah. more secure. And then a quick dry spray. Don't apply the quick dry spray straight away. Let them dry a little bit and then apply it. And it just puts moisture back into your skin and it just helps to dry them a bit quicker.